हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल एसेंस वेटनरी टुडे वी हैव ब्रॉट एन इम्पोर्टेंट लेक्चर फॉर यू ऑल फेलो वेटनेरियंस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन व्हाट इज एन ऑन्टरप्रेन्योर एंड हाउ टू बिकम एन ऑन्टरप्रेन्योर बीइंग अ वेटनेरियन सो इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल येट प्लीज प्रेस सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड इफ यू विल लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज गिव इट अ लाइक एंड शेयर इट सो स्टार्टिंग विद अवर लेक्चर वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एन ऑन्टरप्रेन्योर Entrepreneur is generally known to everybody but briefly going to the definition of an entrepreneur an entrepreneur is the one who starts and runs his own business but what are the social taboos linked with an entrepreneur generally a person who doesn't get a job who is poor in studies or having money of his father or forefathers is generally said to be an entrepreneur but this is not an entrepreneur in real a person who can take risk who has an initiative who have some ideas and converts opportunities to a rewards has leadership qualities and many more things define an entrepreneur but the definition that generally is more fascinating is a person who is a employment generator rather than being an employment seeker so to tell you the essence of entrepreneurship in veterinary science we have brought an inspirational story of a vet in his own words today our special guest is dr ivne ali his motto is to educate farmers of nation born in amroha up india his graduation is from gon ballab pant university of agriculture and technology pandnagar his post graduation is from indian veterinary research institute in the field of veterinary physiology and climatology dr ivne ali was awarded icr jr fellowship during his masters His post graduation was under the supervision of Dr. Mihir Sarkar, now director N R C Y. He has qualified ICR NET and also has written mains of Indian Forest Service exam and ARS mains. In his professional achievements, he was the editor under Pixie Consulting Solutions for Poultry Times of India, Poultry Planner, Dairy Planner. He was also the founder of Goat Gyan and Poultry Gyan dot com. He was technical manager and then product manager in bovian healthcare poultry private limited and has visited across the country for his expertise solution of different farms issues he has authored various books on goat buffalo and poultry rearing in our description we have provided the names of the books he has written you can go and check the description dr ibn ali has worked and is still working as consultant for various buffalo goat farms private companies such as gelsmet pet zoo india etc uttarakhand sheep and bull development board various other profitable non profitable organizations he has delivered various lectures in various universities including pantnagar ivri private firms in national and also at international level such as world food forum organized by fao european union cirad he has published various videos on online platform regarding poultry dairy and goat farming at ali veterinary wisdom hello my friends and juniors it is very pleasing to interact with all of you through this video uh, made for essence veterinary youtube channel just like other people by profession i am a vet and working as a social entrepreneur in livestock and poultry sector my work is to help the farmers to increase uh, their productivity and also help new entrepreneurs to enter uh, the business related to livestock and poultry after 12th from rurki i started my professional education of veterinary sciences from pantnagar veterinary college and completed that in 2011 After that I joined IVRI as JRF in Department of Veterinary Physiology. Uh, during my education whether it was in uh, Pantnagar or in IVRI I, I always have interest in animal production system and uh, animal food economics. Basically the food supply chain uh, was uh, the area of my interest. Uh, and you will be surprised to know that uh, due to my keen interest in the farming i adopt uh, uh, practical poultry production uh, during my graduation in pantnagar i enrolled twice uh, for that course uh, although in ivri 
uh, I was uh, preparing for civil services uh, due to fear of career security, but I never uh, miss any opportunity to interact and dwell with farmers. In my spare uh, time during my IVRI days, I read uh, about goat and dairy farming and its possible feed challenges. Uh, and during that period, I also began to give formal uh, informal consultation to the farmers on phone and uh, visit nearby farms during holidays. I don't know uh, what is the present situation of entrepreneurship uh, education in IVRI. Uh, I heard that institute is now supporting the entrepreneurs, uh, uh, new entrepreneurs and help budding vets uh, but during my days it was not uh, the entrepreneurship was not considered good uh, what I was doing was uh, not at all the culture of IVRI uh, and uh, nor student accept these uh, activities and things uh, due to that uh, lacking of professional cultural environment for entrepreneurship I usually I usually refrain from talking about my interest. I am telling this thing to you uh, to give encouragement to those students who have uh, who might have different goals or interest in government job. And I am telling you that please never let your interest and ambitions to lose down. And keep preparing for your dreams and you will get that. Money making was not my primary goal uh, during my entire education program. Uh, nor do I think of jobs. My aim was freedom, uh, freedom of thought and work. Canadian could become a robust, non-replaceable part of animal food production system. And nobody could that job which a vet can do. And, mm. and still animal food industry including dairy and poultry uh, which include the broiler meat and eggs uh, combined livestock and poultry industry is not less than 8 lakh crore rupees market that uh, is roughly equal to the 10% of our national GDP and to support that uh, sector only handful of veterinarians are there uh, so uh, uh, veterinary services uh, uh, are in serious crisis uh, and due to lack of veterinarians veterinary services are given by the non-vets paravets and all these people so these things were quite clear to me before entering the field in which I am working right now my mo motto and aim was to educate the farmers of the nation after traveling a lot among farmers I realized that lack of education was very serious matter among animal keepers farmers were facing problems due to uh, lack uh, of awareness and nobody is educating about nutrition, immunity and of course the potential diseases that may transmit from animals to humans. So farmers are at the risk of zoonotic diseases. Private companies have their own vested interests uh, and only educate uh, and they only educate people about their products but they do not uh, provide the holistic solutions to the people engage with them and that thing instigate me to make some platform where farmers uh, uh, can get education and practical solutions to their problems around 2015 and 16 when I realized this thing uh, at that time uh, I was working in Bovian uh, poultry uh, uh, it was a animal healthcare company uh, and I was working as a poultry product manager uh, that was the time when uh, uh, when uh, the reach of internet were increasing and YouTube and WhatsApp were becoming uh, becoming common. So uh, keeping pace with technology and looking at the demand of the time, I founded Ali Veterinary Wisdom as an education platform for farmers. In 2016, I left my job in Bobian and fully come to the field and start working as independent advisor for the livestock and poultry farmers. I didn't have any financial backup at that time 
uh, and during my initial months i didn't able to earn even and all my savings which i have uh, uh, collected during my uh, job period were exhausted in personal family expenses but i never let down my ambitions my dreams to reach out the farmers after that i got many opportunities to become part of different institutes companies and farmers and help them in optimization of their production and processes so i never uh, gave up the technical part of my uh, uh, education I, I i'm always involved in the only in the technical part not uh, not in the marketing exactly so from earning and social status point of view i never regret of my past decisions uh, for uh, letting go of uh, government jobs or any private opportunities in fact i get many offers and opportunities even in the government sector but i declined because i don't want to distract uh, from my goal which i decided well during my studies most important thing is inner satisfaction that cannot uh, come from money and that uh, come only by doing what you want to do right now importance of veterinarian cannot be undermined and it is becoming more and more prominent than ever due to the role uh, of vet uh, at least on three important uh, fronts which can influence global masses role in food supply chain especially food security is increasing by quality animal protein to ever increasing population our resources are limited and increase production require more environment burden in the form of more carbon emissions and greenhouse gases so veterinarian can reduce them by increasing the efficiency of animal production systems Uh, and of course farming of food animals increases the emergence of new transboundary animal diseases that have zoonotic potential like uh, recent bird flu and corona outbreaks so we as a vet can become a key person in reducing the uh, those risks uh, beside that antibiotic resistance is also a, 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 an area of concern in which world is looking at the veterinarians so i advise to the student that era of permanent jobs has been gone world is now moving fast toward the sdgs sustainable development goals outsourcing of work becoming a recent trend and uh, you can be in the same company as a associate rather than a, an employee and you can see that education policy is also changing or it's being changed uh it include various pattern of changing world innovations and creativity has taken the central place in the world and now anyone can become rich by introduction uh, of easiness uh, in human's life so we should now learn to collaborate with different agencies working on common goals of food production and system security of course security li- related to the food production and we have to change ourselves and have to develop the skills to cope up with the new technologies now new uh, artificial intelligence based software and sensors are developed for farms and we are ru- using uh, those things in india which can recognize the sick animals even before uh, symptoms are seen so they can uh, and these things can easily tell you about uh, when to inseminate the cow for maximum fertility when ovulation has occurred and when to inseminate uh, these animals so students in graduation can carve their career by keeping these things in mind and for mbsc and phd students who have specialization in different fields can start labs research firms and new product development in collaboration and can sell uh, it to companies uh, and few more areas is like cattle fertility solution and affordable uh, making of affordable testing kits for pregnancy and reproductive infections mobile ultrasound services that can do wonder for farmers and service provider can earn good with these things 
when you give such service to the people they also want the associated solutions from you so there are a, a myriad of opportunities lying in the area of uh, the veterinary services genuine services are still lacking for senior student uh, i must advise that take your labs very seriously take your assignments very seriously and try to take out the maximum while doing research on a given topic and try to correlate it with the field problems just remember that uh, in some multinational only one person is working and he is uh, selling products uh, like uh, simple probiotics at the uh, to the tune of 100 crore rupees annually so this uh, field is very majestic so don't underestimate uh, this profession thank you best of luck